Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Election Evidence. You guys can find me on Telegram with at Election Evidence, or you can just use this easy link www.t.me slash Election Evidence, and you guys can find my page. We post all sorts of things about, obviously, the election, the 2020 election in the United States. We post a lot about COVID, and more than anything, we're just trying to get the truth out to as many people as we possibly can. Um, so that's how you guys can find us. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how you guys can cut back on the horrible <laughs> amounts of robots that are on Telegram. So let me show you something. Uh, basically, we're going to use a bot called Rose. And Rose is basically a bot that uh, prevents other bots from spamming. With that being said, let me show you guys how this thing works. Okay, guys, so basically, uh, Rose is just a robot that's going to block the Telegram uh, spammers that we have. So what I'm going to do, this is the desktop version of how to do this. I'm sure I'll come out with a mobile version at some point. But honestly, guys, it's pretty similar. Once you understand the concept, it's actually going to be pretty easy. So the very first thing is you have to set up a chat room, and it has to be set up as a super chat so that it can handle all sorts of different users. And then you'll obviously have to be an admin of that uh, program in order to make this work. So number one, just make sure that you have a super chat room. You know, for most of you guys, 99%, uh, you guys who have your channels, if people are commenting on your posts, it's already a super chat. And that's what this is gonna be for. So the next step here is we're going to pull up our chat room. <clears throat> and we are going to add Miss Rose to our channel. So on the desktop version, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your channel and you are going to go down to users you're going to hit plus and then you're going to look for miss rosebot right here with the underscore there's a couple different ones so make sure you're using the right one this is the one that you're going to want to do okay so now we're going to add her and now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here step two we're going to add rows of a member as a member to our chat so let's go over here. Let's uh, let's click on our chat room, and I should be able to find my members. Here we go. Oh, okay, just took a second. Um, okay, so now we're going to look at our members, and Rose is right here. So now we're going to promote her to the admin of the channel, and we're going to allow her to do all of these things right here. Uh, pretty much, yeah. That's that's how we have that set up. So you're just going to hit save. Okay, so Rose is now an admin. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to basically, one thing, I mean, there's there's a couple options that we could do. If we wanna see a list of commands, um, all we have to do is look for Rose in our group. So let's pull that up, members, Rose. And then if you send her a message, she'll actually uh, pre-populate a message and it's gonna say, hey, I'm Rose. Just press start and then there's a button that you can do and then this would be actually what's considered a first command she's going to show you all sorts of different commands that you can do but what i'm going to do guys is i'm just going to kind of streamline things and i'm going to show you how we set up our bot because this is going to block about 90 probably 98 to 99 percent of the spam that you're getting um but and once you understand the uh the commands it makes this thing just 10 times easier so that being said Next thing I'm going to do is now that I have Rose as a member to my chat and I've made her an admin, the very first thing is I'm actually going to go back into my chat room. Let's go back. Okay, I'm in my chat. Now I'm going to start using commands. Okay, so the first command that I'm going to do is I'm going to do slash start. Okay, this is basically saying, hey, I want to turn you on. So start. Perfect. And only you can see this from my understanding. Um, that's pretty much it. And the next command that we're going to do is we're going to set our welcome, which means that everybody who joins the group is now going to require a welcome message. Like it's going to be automatically pre-populated. Now, all you have to do, it's so easy. You just do the set welcome, and then you're going to put in the command of what you want to say. And so in our group, all we're going to say is welcome to our group. Please click the button below to prove you're a human and reduce bot spam. Thanks, and we're very happy to see you here. Um, the reason why we're telling them to press a button is because in the next step, we're actually gonna have a CAPTCHA button, but uh, don't worry about that just yet. Um, for now, let's just go ahead 
and let's put in our welcome message right here. And you guys can, you know, change this to whatever you'd want. I'm actually going to brand my message in just a moment. But we've got our set welcome. Here's the message that will display. And now I'm just going to brand it. Typically, I put in American flags. I don't know how to do that in the desktop version, so I'll just change that later. Uh, there we go. And then it'll ask you to prove that, you know, sometimes it'll ask you to prove that you're an admin. Okay, great. So now anyone who joins the group is going to see this message right here. Fantastic. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to enter the command CAPTCHA yes. This means that I'm turning on CAPTCHA. So now bots have to prove that they're real, real human beings. We're going to say CAPTCHA yes. And I have shield in here. Just uh, delete that. Uh, just delete it. I don't want you guys getting confused. I got two bots in the channel, so that's why that popped up. Um, for now, we're only using rows, okay? So now we said CAPTCHA yes, prove we're an admin, fantastic. Okay, so now people are automatically gonna be muted when they join. The next thing is we want to keep it easy for people. So basically they have to hit a physical button on their phones or on their computers to prove that they're an actual human. Um, this is pretty much the easiest and least intrusive way to make it so that bots have to prove they're real. So let's go ahead, let's do this. All right, perfect. Okay, yeah. All right, great. Okay, now, uh, this is where we're going to put in commands to block certain types of comments. What I want to point out here is that this at button, this at right here, um, that would be if somebody's trying to tag like a different telegram group because that's where most of your spam is going to come from that's what that stands for this the star or the asterisk is basically a wild card so anything that comes after at and then an asterisk that's going to block anything so like at you know whatever channel at joe rogan at you know, whatever spam you're getting, you're just gonna make it so that people can't tag other users in your comments. Um, so that's gonna block other Telegram channels. And then you wanna put that command in quotes for that. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna copy this. Okay. All right, great, we did it. Okay, so that's gonna block that one. Next one we're gonna do is we're going to block anyone that has the uh, ad list block. Oh, hold on, I think I have this right. Let's, let me try this. And it might actually be, I don't know if I need this word filter. We're gonna, we're gonna try it in a second. Um, oh yeah, we don't, we don't need the word filter here. I just copied and pasted that. So, okay. So same thing as last time, right? We're just going to put in add block list, you know, slash add block list. And now I have my quotes T dot me. And I have this right here. Um, is a wild card again, and this right here is a wild card. So I'm basically saying that anybody that has a website that, whether it's HTTPS, whether it's HTTPS www.t.me forward slash, I'm blocking it so that they can't get more Telegram users in here. And then this, or uh, Telegram links, basically. Um, actually, you know what? Here, I'll pull this up. So I'm basically saying that anything before t.me and anything after this forward slash, I want to block anything that includes this search term or this, this phrase right here. It's the best way to describe it. So that's uh, this one right here. So we've got our wild cards on each side, and then we're just going to hit send. It's going to ask me this. OK, cool. All right, fantastic. Let's go back. Let me. Get rid of this and that. Now, another word that people use a lot to like join channels is this join 
phrase, like join Joe Rogan on Telegram, right? So what we're going to do is we're now going to add a block list, join right here. You see we have it in quotes. And then, okay, cool. All right, so we, that's what I've done. That has really reduced about, like, I'm not kidding, about 98, 99% of the spam that comes through. And then, you guys, these are, oh, oh, hold on. You know what I just noticed? I've got uh, the wrong quotes in there. Let's do this. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, that was right. That was right. Everything's fine. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out. Now, understand that you can block, like, pretty much any comments that include anything within quotes of whatever you would want from there. So you don't just have to use Twitter or Telegram websites. You know, you can block, you know, links to any domain that you would want any phrase that you would want. So you can get creative and then uh, to add that, you just do the slash add block list and then the quotes of basically anything that you would want there. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I uh, would appreciate the follow and uh, God bless.